Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's make a circle skirt. Circle skirts are so versatile and can be made from a range of different fabrics. The best fabric to choose depends on your desired look and feel. Today we are making our skirt out of gabardine. Whichever fabric you choose, make sure to pre-wash if possible to avoid any shrinkage once the skirt is sewn. For materials, you will need fabric, usable interfacing, lace trim, a zipper, thread, pins in a needle, scissors, a ruler, and some pattern paper. Let's start with measurements. In order to find the yardage you need, you'll need to measure your waist and determine your desired skirt length and fullness. In today's tutorial, we will be making a 360 degree full circle skirt. To get your waist measurement, wrap a tape measure around your natural waistline. To calculate the waist radius for your skirt pattern, divide your waist measurement by 2 times pi, which is 6.28. Our waist measurement was 25 inches. We divided 25 by 6.28 and got 3.98. We will round up to an even 4 for our waist radius. To determine the length of your skirt, measure your waistline down to where you'd like your skirt to fall. Once your measurements are determined, let's create a pattern. This will help guide you while cutting your fabric to size. Starting at the bottom left corner, use your ruler to mark your waist radius measurements on both sides. Connect the two markings to form the shape of a quarter circle. Starting at your waist radius markings, measure and mark your desired skirt length down the sides of the pattern paper. Make sure to include your seam allowance as well. Once your pattern is drawn to the correct measurements, cut it out along the quarter circle lines. Now let's get our fabric cut. Begin by folding your fabric into four sections as shown. Pin the pattern to your fabric with the waist radius at the folded side of the fabric. Use your pattern as a guide and begin by cutting out your waist radius. Continue to do the same around your length lines. Once your fabric is cut, cut out your waistband. Your waistband length is determined by your waist measurement plus your seam allowance. Your waistband width will be however thick you want it to be, but wide enough to at least fold it in half. With the same measurements as your waistband, cut out your interfacing. If you'd like to add a zipper, let's prep for it now. Unfold your skirt base and cut a straight line from your waist circle to the bottom edge of your skirt. Take your waistband pieces and place one on top of the other. Pin them together and sew them along the longer edges. Make sure to keep your seam allowance in mind. Use an iron to fuse the interfacing onto the fabric. For best results, hold the iron down for 10 seconds or more in small areas. Now that your waistband is fused and sewn together, let's add them to the skirt base. Pin the waistband to the top of your skirt about halfway. Make sure once your waistband is pinned, there is enough space to fold it lengthwise in the next step. Now let your skirt hang for at least 24 hours to allow your fabric to drop. Fold the waistband fabric lengthwise and inward toward your skirt base. Pin it to the skirt fabric where they meet and hand sew it closed. Go over it with the iron again to ensure your interfacing is set in nicely. Fold the sides on your waistband of the cut edges to align with your seam allowance. While your sides are folded, go over it with an iron. This will create a crisp edge and it will help guide you as you sew it shut. Pin the zipper between the two open sides with the top meeting your hem. Sew the sides closed once the zipper is in place, getting as close to the teeth as you can. Zip your zipper up to tighten the sides and sew from the zipper down. Now it's time to hem the bottom edges. Measure the hem of your seam allowance and line it up with pins. Sew around the edges. Grab your choice of lace trim and add some pizzazz to your skirt. Pin the lace to your waistband and your bottom hems. Line it up with the top of your waistband and the top of your bottom hem. We recommend waiting to cut the trim to size until after pinning is done to ensure it doesn't get cut too short. Now sew that lace onto your skirt. Once your trim is added and your zipper is closed, you're runway ready. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.